This is what you might have missed on BCSN's Sports Nightly. Earlier in the week, current Ohio State football coach, former BGSU coach Urban Meyer came to town for a charity event. He brought along former Falcons hoops coach, current ESPN analyst Dan Dockage. We got Dockage's thoughts on the new head coach at BG and, of course, the Falcons' latest draft pick, Rashawn Holmes. Well, you know what? It's going to, do, it's, it's going to depend on a couple of things. You know, when you're a second-round pick, you've got to go in there and show that you can make a roster. And, and you know, there's a lot of things that will go on with free agency. But, look, they drafted him because of his performance. Like, he, he, they didn't draft him because of size or potential where a lot of kids get drafted. They drafted him because of performance, how he played in Portsmouth, how he played for Bowling Green, how he did in workouts. So, you know, I hope I – hope that when he goes in there, he plays with a, with a chip on his shoulder because he's a talented kid that, that I think has a chance to make it. NBA scouts, man, they see you, they know you, they know exactly who you are. They don't, you know, there's no secrets. So it, that's up to him. That's on him. And, and I would hope that he does because, look, you know, there's a hell of a difference between playing in the NBA and playing in the NDBL or overseas. So he's got great opportunity. As for the current Falcons, Michael Huger is the new head coach, taking over after Chris Jans was fired. Huger played at BG a few years before Dockage coached there, and Dan says he's not too familiar with the new top Falcon. I don't. I don't, but I know Anthony's really excited about it, Stacy, and I, I don't know Michael, but I did a number of Miami, uh, Florida games with, with Coach Larry Nagy, and I, they were really well coached, and I would assume that Michael, and I've heard anyway, he's hit the ground running and he's out recruiting the area, Ohio, and I, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited because I, I, it's unfortunate what happened to the previous coach, but I think he had it going in a great direction, and so that's, that bodes well for the next guy. So I hope Michael takes advantage of that. Be sure to watch Sports Nightly weeknights at 1030 on BCSN and follow us on Twitter at sports underscore nightly.